All right, circles. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and if you haven't already done this, go crush that like button and if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so you'll get notified every time we drop a new video, which now is twice a week. All right guys, I said we were doing it and we're doing it. We are now going to be uploading every Wednesday. So welcome to a new segment of the show I like to call Trip Tips where I'll be going through different baits and different gear that will give you a leading edge to catch more giants this fall. All right guys, so the bait of this week, I will be going over the Alabama rig. Yes, the A-rig. And I'll tell you exactly why an A-rig is great during the fall. So during the fall, it gets colder. So that brings the water temperature down. And so these fish are going to be hunkering down for this long period of cold. And so what are they doing? They're feeding and they're going to be up chasing bait that's moving around. And so what you are doing by throwing an Alabama rig is mimicking a school of bait fish. And there is nothing better than an Alabama rig. So there are a couple ways you can work this. One thing you can do with it is just chuck it out there and slow reel it in. That's a great method of doing it. In fact, my dad was throwing an Alabama rig last year during the fall and he got on some really good striper. I'll put that video card right up here if you want to go check that out. Another way you can retrieve this is still slow roll it, but you can speed it up, slow it down, and even twitch it to make it look like these bait fish are wounded. And a lot of the times that will trigger a strike. And during the fall season, since it's colder, these fish are not going to be as active as they usually are during the spring and summer times when the water is much warmer and they're up moving fast. They're going to be looking for something a little bit slower, something that they can easily grab onto and get a lot of. So if you have any local lakes or rivers that are full of shad or bluegill that get up and move around, an Alabama rig is your best bet. You can throw it shallow from six to 10 feet, or you can throw it deep from 30 to 50 feet. It really doesn't matter, as long as you know bait fish are moving around and those fish are crushing them. And you can really catch anything on this. You can catch smallmouth, largemouth, even really, really big striper. And one thing I'd like to go through with you guys is when you buy an Alabama rig, the clasp that holds the jig heads on, make sure you look at them because a lot of the times they're not gonna be made very well. So even if you make sure that jig head is secure, it might pop off if a giant grabs it. And I'll give you an example. This type of clasp right here, a lot of the times what a fish will do when it's hungry is hit it hard. They want that thing. And so what that will do sometimes is actually rip your jig head off. It happened to my dad last fall and he lost a giant. So when you're putting your jig heads on your Alabama rig, make sure you get them clasped in, but then take a pair of pliers and just crimp the little piece that holds it in there just enough to where it won't move. So make sure you go over and check all of your Alabama rigs to make sure that you're not gonna lose that giant. And there are a couple different trailers that you can put on an Alabama rig. First off, just a normal little swim bait trailer. Probably bigger than this one because this is only like 3.1 fourths inches. You can do the math. Or you could change it up completely and put a Senka on it or a creature bait. Honestly, a creature bait would actually look really good on the end of an Alabama rig. I'm probably gonna try that. We'll see. You could even put all three of them on there, if you wanted to. Let me know down in the comments how you guys are gonna do it. I'm gonna put all three of them on there. <laughs> so there you go, guys. Alabama rigs. It's gonna work great this fall, and you are going to catch monstrous fish. And now I'd like to take some time for a shout out. All right, guys, I would like to recognize Fishing with Fitz. This guy is absolutely awesome. He's a great supporter of the channel and he is a really great brother. And he's also my yeehaw buddy. This one's for you, man. Yeah! <laughs> Make sure you guys go over and show Fishing with Fitz so much love and encouragement, guys. Make sure you go subscribe to his channel. He is an awesome guy. And if you want a great supporter and loyal sub to your channel, that's the guy. He's an absolutely awesome person and we will have his channel linked down below. So make sure you go check him out. And in the upcoming months, we are going to be going through a lot more baits that will help you catch fish through the fall and winter transition. And a couple baits I'm personally excited to throw around and show you guys are some big swim baits. I personally have some of these swim baits knowing that the fall is coming and I am so excited to catch some big fish on these. This being one of my smaller ones, an S waiver and another one, the Ganarel Jr. Love it. And right now my big dog that I currently have rigged up and I'm so ready to use, the Arashi Glide. It's it's giant, it's like four ounces, it's, it's, it's a big one. So stick around and make sure you got your notifications on because we're gonna be going through 
all of these baits and I will give you my first hand experiences on the fish that I catch and I'll break it down for you help you guys catch some big fish too. Now something I want to do with this midweek upload daily is I want you to send me your pictures of the fish you catch on this Alabama rig over the next week. So if you guys go out and you got some deep lakes, throw some Alabama rigs around. And if you're looking to pick some up, we'll leave a couple different Alabama rigs linked down below so you guys can go get yourself some. And if y'all are on a low budget, like we are, we got a four pack of these for $10. Yeah, 10 bucks. So we will leave all of that information down below. Make sure you go check it out and get yourself some. I will also leave our email link down below, so send me those pictures. I will be going through those pictures and picking a couple of them to feature here on the show. So make sure you get out there and catch me some. All right, guys, and that's all I got for you guys this week. And until next time, I'll see you all on the water.